Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I'm dyeing my hair as you can see. I did the bleach yesterday and then I'm doing the pink now. I also trimmed my hair yesterday, so it's shorter. Originally, I was gonna dye it this coming weekend, but then I remembered I'm getting a lump cut out of my head and I don't wanna put the bleach on an incision. And so I was like, oh my God, I have to do it like this weekend. It was getting pretty bad too. My hair was so faded, it was nearly white. And I had crazy roots because I skipped a bleaching session. Like I redid the pink last time without redoing my roots because I wanted to give my hair a little break from the bleach. And so, it's, you know, it, it really needed to be done. And I just especially wanted it done before Calgary. That's why I was like, if I can't do it next weekend, like I need to do it this weekend. Removing the lump, which is right here, by the way. <laughs> can you see it? Yes, you can. <laughs> This has been a long time coming because I I had my first appointment which I falsely assumed the lump was being removed at that appointment but it turns out they were only going to do it if it was infected which it was not. So then we rescheduled it for it was like less than a month later or about a month later but then some issue came up with my doctor like some kind of health emergency or family health emergency like something big happened and my surgery got postponed till mid-April, which here we are. And that's fine, because I've had these lumps for so long. There's more than just the one, there's five right now. And this is the big ones. This is the one I want to get out now, because it's large and it's, well, to me it's large. In the grand scheme of things, this is not considered a large one, but to me, it's large. It gets in the way. If I ever want to lean my head on something, I always bonk it. I can't wear headbands and things, because that's exactly where a headband goes. Just little things like that. Like That is the annoying one. The other ones maybe get removed as they grow. They're just cysts, they're just pilar cysts, and so they just need to be cut open and taken out. And unfortunately, I will not be filming this. I don't have anyone to come and film it for me, and I just think that would be weird. I don't know. I don't know if they even allow that, and I don't want to ask. <laughs> just search pilar cyst removal on YouTube. You'll find a lot of stuff. My stream is canceled for today because it overlaps with the appointment. It's about 10.30 right now, so normally I'd be half an hour into my stream, but meh. I'm gonna show you guys some art I worked on yesterday. This is my concept for the SpongeBob zine I'm a part of. The colors are kinda like a nasty on camera right now. But that's what it's gonna look like. It's based off the episode The Sponge Who Could Fly, aka the Lost episode, which is one of my all-time favorites. Okay, I got some food. I planned my week out and then I showered. Here's how my hair looks. There are a lot of little flyaways sticking everywhere because I can't put any product in my hair, obviously. But this is how it's looking, this is what the length is like, and the color. Turn this down a bit, that's probably more accurate to how it looks. I just like my brightness really high. <laughs> So that was not too bad at all. I knew it wouldn't be as bad as the ones I got removed from my eyelids. That was awful. <laughs> Mind you, this one was a lot bigger than that, but it's on the side of my head, so it's much better. I had to wait a while for the doctor to be ready, but once we got started, it took maybe 15 minutes total, so it was pretty quick and easy. Didn't feel anything except the, the when they put the numbing in your head, it stings as it goes in. Like not the, the needle, but the actual solution stings. So that's really the worst part, but then it was fine. I mean, you could feel pressure when she's pushing on your head to squeeze out the cyst, but that wasn't too bad. She didn't put a bandage on it because of the, lo the location of it. There's crusties all up in here. It feels nasty. <laughs> the doctor's office is located inside the superstore, and so I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy some stuff. I also took a picture of this cyst, so I'll insert that. Look away if you don't wanna see that kind of stuff. They always look a lot smaller when they're outside of your head. Plus, she had punctured it at one point so she could squeeze a bit of the juices out so it would fit through the incision better. So that's not as big as it originally was, but it's still nasty. I'm just so excited it's finally gone. Oh, kind of hard to set up the phone. I'll use this sushi <laughs> to hold up the phone. That's one of the things I picked up. I was like, oh, I'm going to treat myself. <laughs> I wanted to pick up some polysporin to put on the incision because that's in the care instructions. So I just got like a little no-name one. And I got some sausage. I got a couple ham steaks. I don't like these, but Christian does, so he can have those. A big bag of frozen chicken breast. Some bananas. 
and I got a few uh, Paleo's chocolate raisins. That's, that's quite a quite a lot, but <laughs> I'm treating myself. <laughs> I think that's it. Yes. I'm actually gonna sit here and eat the sushi right now before I head home. I brought my water, so I have a drink. Get on there. I suppose I could just leave it on the chopstick and then grab one. <laughs> Someone tainted my chocolate raisins. I keep getting surprise peanuts. <laughs> Anywho, heading home now. How's this look? I just want to let it breathe without the hair being all over it. It's kind of some blood in my hair, but whatever. It's mostly the goop from inside the cyst that is nasty. I was kind of soaking a section of my hair trying to get it out and that I got some of it out but that stuff's like cement so it's just there I just gotta be careful if I'm brushing my hair I'm gonna make sure not to rip all my hair out I have short pieces here so that when I'd wear my hair up I'd have little pieces hanging down but now I just try not to wear my hair up because every time I do I get more breakage like I wore my hair up probably three or four times in a short time span around the time of fan expo because i remember i had my hair up one of the days of fan expo and it was around that time where i just noticed like a whole bunch of breakage i was like okay calm down girl the bleach makes it a little fragile obviously and uh i gotta make a choice do i want to wear it in a pony or do i want to bleach it because i can't do both <laughs> starting to sting a decent amount i mean it was stinging a little bit before i even left to come home but i feel a little, a little more now enemy propaganda I threw your balls and you didn't bring them back. That's not close enough. Good girl, Kiki. Whoops. Downstairs it goes. <laughs> There's a slim chance she'll bring it back. <gasps> there it is. That was weird. That was like she threw it. Or was that her? <gasps> Ew, that's creepy. I hope that was you. <laughs> okay, time for layer number three. I don't know how long to let this sit for before sanding it. Like, ideally I would just leave it overnight to be safe, but I don't have time for that. And I'm stupid and didn't do this yesterday. It wasn't on my to-do list. I didn't even think of it. I'm just scared that if I start sanding it, it's gonna start ripping off. Maybe leave it a little longer. I did use the hair dryer a lot on this, but it 
doesn't feel quite dry. Papers. I took a little break from the board just to make sure the gesso is super dry. And I responded to a whole bunch of emails because I had a lot stacked up. <laughs> so I replied to those and then I set up the whole giveaway system, well giveaway, like through Rafflecopter, the system for submitting a mystery box to me because I discussed this in a couple of previous vlogs, how it would be cool if subscribers sent me a, a box of art supplies, like a mystery box, and then I'd create art with those supplies and I would send a thank you package in return. It would contain the original art I create using those supplies and it would contain other goodies. Like I'm gonna make some stuff that's exclusive to the people who sent these boxes and I haven't figured out all the prizes yet, but there will at least be things like stickers, uh, buttons. I wanna get a custom enamel pin, may or not custom, but I mean, yes, custom, but an exclusive enamel pin made that is just for the people who send these boxes. Just, you know, some nice goodies. So I set up the raffle copter giveaway system and so I will pick four winners for now and I will give them a P.O. box address where they can send the package and whatnot. I just quickly whipped up this little graphic. The box is from when I had my unboxing channel. <laughs> I just took that graphic and stuck that in there. It's even split top and bottom already for me. Like the, the front of the box is separate from the top of the box, so woohoo. <laughs> so I just posted that on Twitter and on YouTube with the link and I'll include it here in the vlog as well. So if you'd like to sign up for a chance to send me a box, you can do that. It's open for two weeks, so next Monday I'm gonna select the four people. Well, more like Tuesday because you have until end of day, no, because it's 12 a.m. I guess it's technically until Sunday night you have. And then I'll select the winner by Tuesday at the latest because I'm coming home from Calgary on Monday, so I might not pick until Tuesday because I'm gonna be on the road all day. But, point is, you have close to two weeks if you like a chance to submit. I didn't want to make it first come first serve because that would be gone in like two seconds flat and wouldn't be very fair. So it's more of a submission system. I just upgraded my Twitter to have my new graphics. Woo! And oh, I'm torn with YouTube because of the latest video, obviously. I'm like, huh, should I wait until my next video is posted before I update it? right now it's still the question mark I just don't want it to spoil for people because when you click on the video you'll see my avatar and on mobile in your sub inbox it shows the avatar right by the title and so I just uh, I don't want to spoil it for people maybe once my next video goes up I'll update it but that's not gonna be till like Friday for YouTube artist collective we'll see we'll see I'll wait at least a couple more days Okay, it's not perfect, but it is way better than the last one. The last one, I kind of started sanding it and then realized it was gonna take too long and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. I thought my future layers of paint would hide a lot of the texture of the gesso, but it really showed through. So this time I made it a lot smoother. There are still some areas that had really deep grooves and they're a little visible, but that's fine. Okay, I had my late supper. By the time I was done eating, it was practically 10 o'clock, and Christian asked if I wanted to watch Shark Tank, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I should have stopped for the day anyway. I was gonna maybe transfer the sketch onto there, but eh, I can just do that in the stream tomorrow. I think it'll be a lot quicker this time because I'm just gonna mount it to my tripod because this has a little screw in the bottom. Last time I had this sitting on a little stand, and then I was stacking things under it trying to get the right height, but also the right angle on each of the feet it was a mess but the tripod i can easily adjust height and tilt it and stuff and it should be a lot easier so definitely come to the stream if you want to see the transfer and the start of the painting process it's probably going to be the only oil painting stream for this piece so i can keep a lot of it a surprise because i will be working on it after the stream and by end of day tomorrow i'm probably gonna have a lot done and 
it'll be at the point where I can't show any more of it. Anywho, I am going to bed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. What if instead of polymer clay, I use model magic? This might even be better. And look at this is a perfect shade for the Squidward thing. I can get a couple of those. I might even need three. See, before I wasn't going to use styrofoam as my base because that would be way too